off topic, I'm sorry if you're, um, but in your opinion, how in trouble are JRPGs in terms of becoming woke? I guess localizers are already going to ruin them. God I bless. Because yeah, I mean, they were fairly safe, but I mean, Square Enix went woke, so that already was an issue. And then um, uh, all of the localization stuff has also been playing a part in that. So JRPGs, even anime, not completely safe right now. Yeah, I think anime, I mean, we saw Crunchyroll now remove... Um, remove comments, comments from the website because yep. of toxic feedback. JRPGs are in big trouble. Big, big, yeah. big, big, big trouble. Uh, the latest Final Fantasy online expansion makes you follow around this terribly annoying character for an inordinate amount of time. Simply what many people believe is because they are voice acted by a trans person. Oh. Um, the uh you know here's the good news though here's the white pill on jrpgs there are so many out there that you haven't played that you could play an awesome jrpg for the that's rest true. of your life and, and and none of them would be ruined that's true like i watch um isha gaming uh she's a primarily a switch youtuber uh -huh. but like she'll do like reviews of games on switch that are awesome jrpgs that i've never even heard of and like i bet you there's a hundred really good jrpgs that you could play which means that you probably wouldn't even have time to play them all true and um you know plus i mean there are great jrpgs on the ps2 ps1 mm -hmm. on the nintendo even on super nintendo um i mean have you played earthbound right. i mean it's one of the greatest games of all time you know, there's so many great JRPGs. And the great thing with like JRPGs is like they're not generally graphically driven. Um, yeah, exactly. They have more creative art styles usually. Yeah. So that means there's been a lot of great ones on a lot of different platforms. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would say if you look at like the JRPG community and ask for recommendations, you could probably get a new one every month and like just endlessly uh you know endlessly have great games to play follow you know join some facebook groups or follow other ones but yes future jrpgs big trouble have you seen what have you seen in terms of anime have you started to see you know it going downhill uh i fortunately i haven't seen a whole lot in that department most of it has been localization stuff um there's a couple uh like with that dragons dragon maid where yeah. they made some sort of oh misogynist localization thing that wasn't there originally mm -hmm. uh and then in the new bleach they had um this guy who was a cross dresser basically and they were disgusted with him because he's gross and they changed some of the wording around that to not offend they did that in the Trans super mario paper mario remake too yeah. yep that's right so yeah. um so with anime there's a little bit of that but i haven't seen too much beyond that um i mean i unfortunately if you it's watch subs, happen though if you watch subs not dubs you'll probably always be okay well, but some of these localization changes subs because I watched oh. in subs. So even a lot of this was changed in the writing and the actuals. That's why oh, that, in the subs too. Yeah, I didn't that's know why that. you see a lot of these um people are pushing for AI subs. Um mm. and I think I don't know the extent of what that is. I've seen some people talk about YouTube's AI getting doing pretty good. subtitles. So I don't know if they're watching it uh through pirated methods or what's hosting these ai subtitles but hey i'm not telling people to pirate stuff but i'm also uh i'm also happy to see people are being creative <laughs> and, hey hey, um, Mel hey so, melanie hey melanie hey what, what? guess what so what? you know like how everything you buy like you buy these video games or you or you pay to to rent like you pay for a crunchyroll subscription right or you pay for digital anime, okay? Right? Yeah. What what do they always say when you when you pay for that stuff? Is that that's you, true? You, you don't, don't actually it. own it, right? So yep. if you don't own it, Melanie, can you really steal it? That's is true. it really is it really pirating <laughs> if you don't own it in, the, in any way? Yep, exactly. You know, I just say I'm just saying. You know, I I would never tell anyone 
<laughs> to, to do that. But I'm just saying, yeah, if you don't own it, can you actually steal it? Um, True. And Raven Black Duff said, there's a ton of indie JRPGs out there. There are a ton of great indie games in general. Follow Heck in the Y on Rumble to see a whole world of awesome games. Yeah, yeah, you got that. Every time I see some streamer playing some random JRPG, I'm like, what's going on? And, um, you know, I, there's just so many. So I think JRPGs, mainstream JRPGs are in trouble, big trouble, and they have been for years. Final Fantasy might be cooked. I mean, we yeah. saw a lot of the changes they made, like, oh, Tifa's chest is too big, and that's a bad thing. It's crazy that she's doing karate with such a big chest. It's like, are we really worried about that? Is That's no what I always hate about the argument with things. If ever I talk about, for example, Lara Croft, why they change her body type or why do they why do they change her outfits it's but that's not realistic you expect a girl to be able to climb rock climb and stuff with a big chest like that or oh you expect her to walk around with shorts like that why is that's not realistic always the rebuttal it's a video game where you're doing unrealistic things why does realism all of a sudden matter if it's going to be realistic then the game wouldn't exist at all <laughs> what's funny is the very same people when they put like a disabled one-armed LGBTQ player yep. in Battlefield Five, will say, <laughs> and people say this game's not that's not realistic. Like, what do you mean it's not real? It's just a video game. So these, this is why I don't even bother engaging with a lot of these people, is because they don't they don't, they market in lies. Yep. They don't they don't have any actual um, what's the word for it? Like uh uh integrity good faith conversations exactly they don't the same person that will say you know having a one an amputee woman on the front lines during battlefield 5 which by the way it was the last game that they made because they pissed off the customers so bad by telling people to you don't like it don't buy it that was one of the best backfires ever they also will say well yeah but it's her big chest is not realistic it's like your I, own ideas are self defeating yep. and so it's like why on earth should should we even entertain that? Like, yep. I'm not entertaining somebody whose own ideas are self-defeating. So it's it's bad. Yeah, anytime we try, and I've noticed this on X and stuff, especially anytime we sometimes I'll try and and oh, let's have let's see if they can be reasoned with because we can be reasoned with. So we assume that of them. But then you realize that's not the case. Their their entire stance is all in bad faith anyway. And then they either move the goalpost and go into some circular argument or they just call you names. They don't actually uh, that you can't reason with them and they know that they have no no leg to stand on with their stance they can't back it up so they have you, to do something if you ever want to understand these people and how they argue all you need to do is um look up s something called the mott and bailey castle it's very easily described in like five or ten minutes um you know it, it's like um it's a mott and bailey uh, argument mm -hmm. it, it's when it, uh technically the mott and bailey fallacy you'll find that every one of these people argue in that manner oh. and once you figure out that's what they're doing they'll say like oh yeah but this thing and then they'll retreat to this yep. and like every it's 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 insane um so if you look up the mott and bailey fallacy not actual fallacy Okay. Castles. That will help you argue against um, leftists.